Very few men know that there are at least five alternatives to writing letters to beautiful Ukrainian women and that there are five different avenues in marriage broker services. I was promising in one of the videos to tell about the, all the resources that are available and now I'm going to share this information and uh, I will tell you how you can win using each option. My name is Natalie Kowal, I'm an international matchmaker with hundreds of happily married Ukrainian women to foreign men and lots of kids born. So I will help you to strengthen your love story. I will help you to create your unique story. Stay subscribed to my channel and you're gonna learn different ideas, different positive experiences that have worked for other people and may probably work for you too. So let me tell you about those five different avenues of a marriage broker services. Number one, yes, the almighty paper letter website. How do you know that it is a paper letter website? Number one, uh, beautiful photographs everywhere. Women are hot. No, to say they are hot is saying nothing. They are mega hot. And when you're looking at the picture, you lose your mind and you want to talk to her. That's the programming, that's the manipulation in those websites. But <laughs> they are good because they are very good for those guys who are looking for a pen pal. Guys that are looking for friendship without any obligations. They are great when you are bored, probably married, uh, probably have so many things going on uh, in your life that you want a friend that you can share anything with, that you want to create another life. And that's perfect using those paper letter websites. The letters that you pay for will 100% justify uh, the second life that you want to build. Well, you should be aware that also if you want to find a wife on those websites, 99.9% .9 you won't get it there because they are simply, from the business perspective, are not interested in losing a beautiful profile of a lady. They're interested in keeping the letter writing process. So emotional entertainment, that is working great on paper letter websites. Finding a wife there, you won't get it there. Paper letter websites look cheap and affordable from, from the first perspective. You pay 20 bucks, pay 50 bucks, pay 100 bucks, but those money end up quickly. And uh, some of my clients uh, were spending at least $3,000, yeah, yeah, $3,000 per month uh, for that kind of entertainment. Good idea. Or maybe it is not a good idea. It's your choice. Photographs of women there are phenomenal. They are too good to be true. They are very well photoshopped. They are prepared for your male eyes and they want to please you. But unless you see the woman on a video chat, you will never know what she really looks like. And be prepared that she will never look like her photograph. Well, there are so many articles and videos about this superstar looking like this on a film and this superstar looking like this on the beach. Be prepared that real people do not look like that in real life. Women answer every letter. That's cool. Uh, that's emotional entertainment because they have to answer every letter. They're getting paid for it. But it's actually not women that are getting paid for it. These are the translators uh, that are doing their job very well. They are professional communicators. Uh, they know how to manipulate your right. They know how to press the right buttons in your ego uh, to make you feel good and entertain. Real women do not communicate like that. Real women have real life. Uh, they have children, maybe they have hobbies, they have interests, they have a job. A real woman can talk to you probably decently once or twice a week uh, because we have a reason to communicate. We have something happening and then we share what is happening. Uh, and if it is a paper letter website, you will get a letter at least twice a day. One of the examples uh, that uh, a guy that I want to give is one of my recent guys who was writing letters to those uh, numerous women. He came to meet them, but none of them was available. 
well, there were reasons why she's not available, like a business trip, like uh, just didn't answer or didn't want to uh, follow the guy's uh, incentive uh, to, to meet. Uh, they will find you unique reasons not to meet you, but very rarely do they actually meet and talk to you personally. And I just got a new client who after, I guess, at least five months of letter writing came with a zero result. He spent two weeks walking around the streets of Kiev, just looking at the sites instead of meeting real people. And then uh, his friend recommended to look for agencies and then he found me and now he's getting real dates. So how to win those paper letter websites? How to make the most if you got stuck into that? If you are looking for a partner, let's say that. If you want to entertain yourself, pay for the letters and enjoy it. They are great. But if you're looking for a life partner, if you want to find a wife, then you want to meet the women personally. Pay for the video dates. Pay for the real meetings. When you're having a video date, uh, then talk to this woman and tell her that you have a plan to come to Ukraine or whatever country uh, that woman belongs to and you want to meet her personally. She should be okay with that. And when you're ordering a video date, uh, you need to ask in the service that the woman has to be interested in meeting you personally. If she's not interested, then don't pay for the video date. On the video date, you should ask the same. I would like to meet you. What do you think? I'm going to come uh, to Ukraine. Maybe I will have several meetings, but usually do not talk much about the numerous meetings that you are planning yourself to have. Just ask her if she would be willing to meet you personally. And then if you hear a positive answer and you like the woman personally, then it's a go. Option number two in the marriage broker services. These are membership websites. Membership websites uh, will charge you a certain fee per month. Uh, it will be anything from 50 bucks to maybe 200 bucks, but this is uh, closer to reality uh, because you will be writing to real women, not to translators. Uh, but be aware uh, that those real women might be those women that we matchmakers kick out of our databases because of misbehavior, because they were taking advantage of some of the guys, because they were using the service for their own benefit. So be careful. That is the great field of scam. Well, in paper letter websites, they monitor that the women are entertaining, but not scamming. Then in membership websites, uh, the chances for the scam both for men and women are becoming much higher. Membership websites are good because, um, well, you see a membership website uh, because when you want to meet somebody, then it suggests your membership with a fee per month and you can get to the direct contacts of the women. So membership websites are great, but you really need to know what you want and what you're looking for. You need to be focused in your search and not let yourself lose uh, focus on some photographs that are too good or uh, not uh, let yourself to run away from the goal. You set yourself a goal get the type of a person you want to write to, uh, get yourself the plan that you will be realizing in that scenario and stick to that plan. If you need advice on how to organize yourself and look on your own using uh, such resources as paper letter websites or membership websites, you can come to my personal consultation and I will share more ideas related to your psychological type, related to your requests, related to your goals and your family values and your personality. I will help you uh, make a realistic strategy on how you can win on your own. Solution for the membership websites, how not to get scammed, how not to lose your mind. Well, not to get scammed, you need to be very careful about the situations when you are hinted to be sent money, when you are asked for money, when you are manipulated. Be careful, be aware of it and block that user if you see that kind of scenario. Second idea for you, 
uh, as soon as you can go on a video meeting with a girl, you will get into reality. In those websites, uh, you are interested to show that you are for real, uh, that you want to build trust, that you are having good intentions. And uh, the best thing to do it is looking eye to eye to the person and uh, telling her this. You build trust when you are in your house, showing your beautiful kitchen or the living room, or showing your yard and uh, introducing yourself, introducing her to your life, uh, sending her pictures from your job, expecting the same kind of thing. And if she reciprocates, then she is for real emphasize on meeting her personally and if you will decide to meet just one woman then you will also win coming to my matchmaking consultation and I will give you a backup plan because when you're coming just to meet one person you're getting huge risks of not being attracted to her personally or maybe not choosing each other for many other various reasons because chemistry is an offline matter and if you have a plan B you are making the right investment not just a waste of your money you are preparing yourself a serious plan uh, for realizing your relationship happening and you are coming closer to your goal Avenue number three are social networks and mobile apps they are good for fun. Often women complain that the offers that they are getting from guys are just to have sex, to entertain, just to go for a walk, and the guys are absolutely unrealistic, and girls are really upset because they see that. Some mobile apps are free, but be careful because right there in those apps, especially if you're choosing girls who are 30 years younger, specifically more than 15 years younger than you are, uh, they will be um, probably taking you to an expensive restaurant where they will have maybe part of the bill given to themselves uh, or they will hint or bring you to a shop where they will be inviting you to to pay for whatever stuff she has uh, so you have no guarantees you are just given to yourself and they are easy to use uh, women there are real um, they will come on a date, but you never know their intentions exactly in the same way uh, when they know your intentions. So it's a big risk. Uh, using mobile apps and uh, social networks is the same uh, like uh, using the sites where you pay for the membership. You need to build trust. You need to prove to the woman that you are for real, uh, that you want to build relationship. That's why jump off that app, ask for the direct phone number of a girl, ask for her direct email address and start communicating outside the mobile app. Then do the same as I was advising above. The more realistic you will appear to the woman, the higher chances uh, are that uh, you will succeed in the relationship. Uh, some women that are my clients were telling me that if you approach it right, uh, if uh, you have no illusions about something unrealistic happening on a date, then you will most likely meet good people and may develop it in a love story. Avenue number four are companies that are making tours and socials. Uh, they are much better. They are like your big step into reality and uh, these companies are good for guys who have never been to Ukraine, Russia, Belarus or any Eastern Slavic bloc and want to travel in the safe company, or want to have their trip organized very well and um, want to come in a safe group and just explore and meet more people. You will get what you pay for because tour companies value their reputation, uh, they take care of their clients and they really organize you a huge group of ladies to meet and uh, you are given <laughs> a great time. So why uh, tours and socials are good? They are good for guys that are afraid to travel on their own and want to have uh, their trip planned, but you need to be really aware of what you're looking for. You need to organize yourself. You need to understand what type of person you need in your life and then focus and find that woman. The tours are also good to meet hundreds 
of women in one day. Just one day, you will see so many beautiful women that you will lose your mind. So, you need to understand who is your type. And you need to talk to all those women that are there that you find attractive and get their contact. As many cards you get, the more chances that you will have second dates with these women and uh, maybe you will find your wife there. The tours and socials are also good for women that have amazing charisma and personality but aren't very photogenic. Uh, you actually need woman's energy. This is the energy that connects the man and the woman and you can't see that energy on a picture but on a social a woman can approach you, you can start a conversation, you can feel her energy and you may really click. So that's good reason to use a tool. So how to survive a tool? Here's an idea. Number one, study the success stories of those tours. Learn what the tour organizing company is giving you. Study a lot of the material, how to make it work on a tour. Usually they provide that kind of information. Meet as many women as you can possibly meet. Have your translator a brief about the type that you have and involve her into helping you search uh, those specific women. Translators are usually very well prepared and trained to help the guys in the best way possible. Be also attentive to the women that are coming to you yourself. That's jumping out of the box for Ukrainian women, but some of them do that because they are aware that it is an okay step when they are dating uh, or attracting a Western guy. Uh, so they start talking to you themselves. But also be aware of the scammers because a scammer will always tell you what you want to hear. She's so pleasing. She's so charming. She is such a star. She's a fox. And intuitively you're gonna feel it uh, and your intuition is the number one tool that you should actually be listening to uh, on a tour because if it says it's wrong probably that's wrong but we should give credit to the tour organizing companies that are weeding out the scammers and making sure their guys are safe so if you uh, are talking to one that has approached you pay special attention to that woman get her card and as I said before get as many cards as possible well actually because when the social is over you will be thinking gosh I don't remember anything who are these women nobody will be really clicking in your mind but if you have their cards and especially if you were taking pictures together with women or even uh, writing down uh, her phone number in your phone with a picture that's a winner because then you will know who you've met and uh, you will call the woman and invite her on a second date bring her flowers on a date and will most likely succeed but if you don't succeed then find me go to marriagebynatalie.com website and come to visit our agency we are located in the city center of kiev and we have helped hundreds hundreds of those guys who came on tours went on second dates with girls didn't really make it work for many various reasons but we matched them three out of each four male clients end up falling in love during their first trip so why why not try it you should be in that group too and avenue number five these are the matchmakers and uh, agencies with matchmaking services whenever you are in a city google matchmaking services matchmaking ukraine matchmaking agency and you are going to have those services who do the matchmaking check out their website study the materials that they have on the site and decide which agencies you want to talk to contact several of them you will get responses and then go for it a matchmaker saves your time money and emotional energy and helps you focus that into uh, communicating to the right person 
the matchmaker will study your personality, will study your interests, goals, and uh, your preferences, will study your type, and will offer you meet those women that are more matching than just beautiful women that you can find uh, on a website. A matchmaker uh, will care about providing you the result. Uh, and how we provide the result is by giving additional information about the culture of the country, about the mentality of uh, the women that you're going to meet, about the specific personality features of the women that you are choosing to date. The matchmaker trusts you first and then the matchmaker will help you build trust with the women that you are going to date and we are telling the women that we represent, our women clients, how to build a relationship with this particular guy if there is attraction. We make sure that the dates uh, that we organize to our clients aren't numerous, but are rather saving the time of a client and providing the best candidate. Um, and uh, we are really interested in the success because each love story is the best advertisement I can get. It is attracting a lot of new women that start trusting matchmakers more because what they see what paper letter websites are doing and they don't trust marriage brokers. But uh, when they see uh, or hear uh, their friend dating successfully to a guy, they believe that love is possible in the international field. You need to find a matchmaker that you really trust and rely on the person, rely on the professional expertise and follow the guidance and follow the ideas that matchmaker is suggesting to you. And you need to be fully involved in the process, going on dates, doing what the matchmaker is telling you to do. And you need to also understand that the matchmaker's job is bringing you good candidates to the date. Your job is feeling the chemistry and continuing it into a happy love story. And the main thing, you should be able to pay for the services and understand that these are very niche and top professional service that you are getting. Uh, and uh, the payment will justify the time and the effort you will save by coming into the right profession. Make sure you stay subscribed to my channel because I'm sharing ideas and advice on how to make your love story unique and possible. I wish you to create a really unbelievable love story. And if you need my help, let me know now.